Hey guys, Frank Macaluso here from Garageaholic. In today's episode, we are doing something that we normally don't do, and that's provide you a one year after the fact update on the new driveway that I had put down. If you take a look at the video right up there, you'll see that I actually had this driveway redone in September of 2020. And now we're about one year later and I wanted to tell you and show you guys what the driveway looks like, how it behaves, um, the asphalt, the uh, the coating. Um, we actually put a seal coating on in, in April, right? You want to put the seal coating on about one year after the, uh, the completion of the driveway at least or during the summer of um, in order to seal coat it properly and make sure that um, – it protects the driveway uh, long term. Usually you want to seal coat about every two years. But I wanted to kind of give you an update on how the driveway has been performing and acting over the last 12 months because we've gone through a full winter. I have a plow and I have been plowing uh, throughout that winter. Um, and I'll show you what kind of uh, what kind of bottom attachment I use on the plow to protect the asphalt, uh, so I don't gouge it or scrape it. And uh, and we'll just take a close look at what this thing looks like. Right now it's sunny. Right, right now it's sunny, so um, it did rain last night. So as you can see, there are spots on the driveway where it's still wet. So I want to wait until it completely dries to give you a full evaluation, but it might end up being cloudy this afternoon. And in that case, we'll just end up going from there. So for plowing, I end up use I ended up using like a very soft. You can see I'm moving it with my fingers. This is a very soft lower skirt for the plow, and that allows um, and prevents any type of uh, gouging that would occur um, otherwise from a from a steel blade. So I've been using that, and I've actually plowed dozens of times in this driveway, and uh, and I didn't have any problems with gouging. So I have a couple of good things and I have a couple of bad things about the performance of this driveway um, over the course of the last year. You can see that I did have it seal coated and the seal coating, um, I mean, they did a pretty good job, but they did get a little bit on the on the concrete. So I'm not really too worried about that. But um, but overall, I am pretty happy about um, the seal coating job. It actually took them no, no more than like um, you know, an hour to two hours to completely seal coat this entire 600 foot driveway. Let's just go through as many senses as we possibly can. Let's go through all five senses about how this driveway has performed over the last 12 months. Now, smelling this driveway is also another whole experience in and of itself. After the driveway is complete, I love the smell of fresh asphalt. But even still one year later, oh, it smells so good. Well, while we're going on senses, let's talk about the touch. How does it feel? I'll tell you this. Very, very rarely does any type of um, gravel or rock come up out of this, um, you know, due to any uh, any type of, uh, you know, just normal weathering. There's a couple here, but I can walk on this thing barefoot all day. In fact, that's what I do when I bring the garbage cans down and up. I walk barefoot because it's just very comfortable. I could never do that on the old driveway because of the alligatoring and the complete graveling of the whole driveway. So, um, this is very, very comfortable to walk on. No, I can't hear anything. Now, over time, I have two concerns about this driveway that I think every driveway kind of experiences anyway. And that is, number one, is uh, tire scrub. I never thought that I would have such a concern about tire scrub as I do. But we have delivery trucks that come all the time. And when they make their deliveries, they do three-point turns. Three-point turns typically require a lot of stationary turning of the tires. So you have this whole tire scrub action going on when they're going from left to right and they're doing their three-point turn. That destroys driveways. Um, there's a lot of force going on to twist that asphalt top and it loosens up that dirt and I'll show uh, that loosens up that, that top coating and I'll show you what that looks like. You know, you can see some gravel that kind of comes up a little bit, right? So this is kind of how, this is kind of the start of, of, of the wear and tear. And as I go through, you can see there's some, there's additional spots right there and there. So in my experience to help to avoid accelerated wear on your driveway is to get it seal coated every two years. But most importantly, don't forget to use like a, a blower and blow off any uh, extraneous uh, pebbles or rocks that you might find due to things like tire scrub because the more pebbles there are it's more sandpaper if you will and you're basically grinding that back into the driveway when you're driving on it so having a nice clean driveway um, by blowing all that debris off of the driveway when you're driving on it 
is the right way to do it. And it's really the best way to kind of keep your driveway uh, looking young throughout the course of its life. The second thing that I would like to advise that I'm not quite happy about, but I don't think it's avoidable in any way, shape or form is vegetation. Vegetation grows in the driveway and it basically um, grows through the roots uh, push through the asphalt and basically breaks it apart, um, which is accelerated wear because again, like I said, you're going to have pebbles and other things like that that's going to break apart the driveway from the inside. So let's take a look and show you what I'm talking about. There's a couple of examples here on the turnabout where um, where this this vegetation kind of grows in here and I've been, I've been managing it pretty well, but to get to the root of it and get the roots out is important. There's another one right here and you can see if, if you just kind of grab it by the root and pull Come on, come on, man. Ah, I missed it. See, I didn't get that root there. Um, but there's a couple of other small examples, but it's not really very prevalent. Because it's not that bad, I really don't worry about it and I deal with it on a case by case basis. Now, next year, I'm gonna end up using more aggressive um, weed killers. I'm gonna spray on those sections of the driveways because it seems to happen in more locations than others. Uh, so I'm just gonna be able to pay more attention to that. But vegetation is something that's unavoidable and it's something that I am dealing with on a, on a case by case basis. So throughout one year of ownership, I'm actually really happy about how this driveway is looking. You can see the dry and the wet differences um, in terms of you know its complexion, its color, um, and its quality. Uh, yeah, one thing that I did notice that I don't think is too much of a big deal is that there it, there is no cracking along the entire driveway. The driveway is very smooth still, and I'm making sure that when I drive up and down the driveway, that I drive. Uh, I stagger my driving, right? I'm not driving on the same pathway the entire time because your car kind of acts like a steamroller uh, or, you know, pressurized uh, pressure onto the driveway to help smooth it out. And that's really what you want. You don't want to have like these two gouges that you see along driveways because people drive the exact same path every single time. But in places like this, which is very rare, you can see that there are some cracks that look to be formed here. Um, right there is a crack. Um, it's at the edge of the driveway. Um, again, I'm really not too concerned about this. And when I do get it seal coated in another couple of years, I'm going to have them take it, take a look at that and see if they can put a little bit of extra tar in there just for, just for, uh, you know, insurance purposes. Down in the wooded area of the driveway, you can see the, uh, the tamping lines. Now they did tamp. You can see the little uh, little inscriptions of, of, of all the little places that they tamped and it's certainly not straight, but, um, you know, in many cases, uh, I really don't care about that because this is, um, you know, it's a driveway. You can see how thick it is in certain spots. I mean, this is probably about five inches thick. Um, but, uh, yeah, they did tamp around the entire outside area. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, I think that just about does it for me here um, on my evaluation. One year later, after this driveway has been done, six months after the first seal coating earlier this spring, uh, I'm very happy with the performance and of the quality of this. I'm not concerned about adhesion of the new two inch asphalt over the existing driveway. Um, I think that it's gonna work out just fine. Continually uh, changing your pattern of uh, driving up and down the driveway helps to keep the uh, pavement completely smooth. I am gonna focus on vegetation for next year and I'm gonna continue to fight the battle of tire scrub with my uh, with my delivery men. So guys, that's about it for me. My name is Frank Macalusa from Garageaholic. Thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll do another one next year, two years after the original driveway. Thanks guys, I'm out of here. Later.